Hello everybody, this is um, Cliff, and I thought I'd give another video review really quick because I didn't really get done with everything I wanted to say in the other review. Um, little note of interest, I broke down and I decided to get the last two of the pony figurines, or action figures rather. I have Twilight Sparkle as well as Applejack now, so the collection is complete, and I have all six currently on my desk, so... That's where they're bound to stay because it's nice to wake up in the morning, check your email, and notice that you have all six ponies looking right at you. Um, really makes you feel a little bit more manly before you go out to work. Other than that, I um, also got a promotion at work, um, and I've been actually knocking out quite a lot of sales. I've been helping, I feel like I've been doing my part at the store quite a bit. And I would have to say that it's completely and utterly because of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Um, I have taken the lessons that they taught in the episodes and put them into use in the customer service field, and it has significantly improved my performance. Um, other than that, before I get started on why My Little Pony is so manly, I would want to... Um, address a small news article that came out. I guess it was a video on fa on Fox News, actually. Um, it's this guy who compares bronies with people um, who are unemployed, collecting disability, like really fat man children who dress like babies. And this guy basically said bronies are on par with those people. And he actually said that bronies are going on disability too stay home and watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. This guy obviously doesn't understand that only one season has been released, so it's not like you can stay at home every single day and watch all 23, even though I would love to. Um, we tend to space them out a bit because you can become overcome with the sheer um, cuteness, awesomeness, and manliness of the show, I'd say within five episodes. Um, in fact, I noticed that um, my chest was bare, completely bare before watching any My Little Ponies. And the first time I actually got into it, I sat down and I watched 14 of them all the way through. And I had a slight amount of hair grow. Um, re recently, I think I finished episode 21. And now I have like a full man pelt going on. Like an awesome pelt of man fur, which is just like completely awesome. That's another example of why My Little Pony is so, like, just manly. So, um, the guy at Fox News who said that we love and we tolerate the shit out of you, um, hopefully one day you'll be man enough, um, strong enough to not stereotype bronies, maybe go on YouTube, watch an episode yourself, because we're more than willing to accept you in. I mean, you'd be a great addition. Anyone who wants to be a brony can. There's no requirements except you love the ponies. Um, fuck griffins because they're complete assholes and love and tolerate everyone except griffins because griffins are fucking assholes. Um, other than that, today I decided I'd celebrate because I'm actually doing well at work. And I got a little bit of holiday pay with nice scotch. I got the Balvany Doublewood 12-year-old scotch and watched some more ponies, just like I do every night, really, I'd say. Um, last few nights, I've been watching ponies and playing Duke Nukem Forever, um, so it's been pretty fun. Um, now on to the show itself. Um, when I started out, I have to admit I was skeptical. I thought it was kind of a joke, you know. 12-year-old girl show about a bunch of magical, really colorful um, ponies. Why would any guy watch that? And I feel ashamed that I thought that now, knowing what I do now. I now realize the error in my ways, because if I had not watched the show, I would not have been able to take those lessons to heart that helped me excel on the sales floor, um, I would not have obtained the almost six pack of muscles that I have right now, or the man pelt that I now own that goes, like, right down to the honey trail. 
um, I would not be able to, um, I have, I have literally, um, beaten up a bear at the zoo, and the bear wasn't attacking anyone, it was just kind of being smug, and it kind of reminded me of a griffin, so I had to jump down there and kind of, you know, show it who is boss. Other than that, um, I have been taught many lessons, love and tolerate people. Um, when it comes to designing fabulous dresses, you really want to listen to your friends, but if you're an expert in design, you should probably put your foot down a little bit more, or maybe explain a little bit more your vision of the dress, especially if people are going to use it for the Grand Galloping Gala, which is an amazing event, but you certainly wouldn't want to look silly they're in like a dress with too many lollipops or streamers or ribbons on them so i've learned that i've also learned that fear may be horrible but you have to kind of overcome fear to stick up to your friends i've also learned through Pinkie pie that faith isn't something to completely look down upon um as long as it's twitch related if it's not twitch related it's kind of silly to be honest, um, I mean, as long as you have that twitch a twitch, that at least is some kind of scientific credibility to it. Um, really, I'd have to say one of the episodes that I focus more on is the Cutie Mark episode, where all the little ponies um, are trying desperately to get their cutie marks, and they have real hard time accepting that they don't have them yet. So they go out, try to do a whole lot of different things to make it appear to no avail. They get depressed. Um, harkens back to a time when I was in school, and because of my heritage, I was kind of made fun of in elementary school. And so I kind of feel for the ponies. At the end, though, they had the best time ever. They figured out that they don't need to have a cutie mark to be special. In fact, most of the ponies in Equestria have cutie marks, so really they're more unique than any other pony out there, um, especially since the episode. We've only seen about three ponies that don't have cutie marks. Um, it also encouraged me to try to find what I'm really good at, and when I do, I'm going to get a cutie mark, and I'm probably going to document the process of getting the, do uh, the cutie mark because a friend on Facebook has offered me $100 to do that, so I'm just trying to find the right cutie mark to get. Of course, my friend doesn't understand that you're supposed to earn your cutie mark by finding what you're awesome at. It doesn't just appear. It's not something you can just throw on there and say, hey, look at my cutie mark. I mean, for men, we need to know what we're good at. So maybe like bacon, like bacon, steak, or scotch would be awesome to put down there. Or maybe just like uh, My Little Pony logo or something like that. I wouldn't mind having Rainbow Dash with a 20% cooler symbol down there. That'd be pretty cool. Um, other than that, I mean, I really, really hope that a lot more people get into this. I've been spreading the news at work about it, and I have um, encouraged one of my managers, Brandon, to become a gigantic brony. So he's um, he supported me in my endeavor, and I suspect that secretly after work he's been watching episodes because he's the only one who really support like supported me throughout my venture. But now we're getting more and more people. I've converted um, a girl named Corey to become a filly. Um, I'm amassing the brony army, and it's going to be an awesome awesome thing. Also, um, contacted somebody who works on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and so I'm going to be getting an autograph from the animators, which I'll make a video about on my own. Um, don't know when it's gonna get here. It might be a while because Canada's on strike at the moment, but I'm just really thankful to her. She's probably not watching this, but thanks so much. Um, other than that, I'll make another video in a few days kind of had to get to bed so good night everybody have a nice night and keep on watching brony power bro hoof